So I have had a few comments of people asking me, have you seen Sensei Gogo's most recent video about My Hero Ultra Rumble? And is it actually dying? And honestly, I haven't seen the video yet, but I'm gonna react to it with you guys here. And before we even watch the video, let me give you my opinion of is the game dying? I think the game, the initial infatuation with it, right? That people had is definitely going away because it was so unique. It was so different from the rest of the battle royale genre. The characters felt really good to play and they were keeping uh, content going. You know, there was a lot of things to look forward to at the time of the game's launch with Aizawa and Endeavor coming out. There was hype behind that and there was hype behind all the patches and bug fixes and stuff like that. Since then, a lot of the patches have been made. I would say the game's fairly balanced. They have released their two characters. They haven't announced another one. They haven't officially announced another map. They haven't officially announced when crossplay is coming out. So right now we're just sitting in the kind of the state in the game of limbo where nothing's really happening. And I think that's where the player drop off is because players don't have anything to look forward to uh, in terms of just updates for the game and content. We do have some costumes coming on the 22nd of december with the fantasy costumes which is hype but like who really cares about costumes we want content costumes aren't content and then also i know the gotcha system of pulling characters has driven a lot of people away and so if they could change that that would be ideal and then just have the gotcha system be cosmetics but they probably won't do that so they might just kill their own game. I hope that's not the case because i actually genuinely love playing this game i have genuinely had so much fun playing this game but anyways let's just see what uh sensei gogo has to say about uh the game he does say in the title is my hero academia <laughs> ultra rumble in trouble here the lowest player count yet so i've i've somewhat kept up on the steam charts it has been going down for steam at least i have no idea about console let's see what he has to say about this all right so here today i really wanted to talk about this so you are aware about what's going on with the game i want to make this abundantly clear you've seen the title probably and yes this is basically true what i am sharing with you here today is a fact the game is currently at its lowest player count since its launch which i guess that's not that's probably true going to happen i will also make a fact clear this is not all the players there are there are obviously going to be console players what i can show you is only the steam charts we really can't get the information of how many console players there are right but again there are console players being xbox and ps uh 4 ps5 right those players exist and switch switch players exist too man he just forgot you guys oh my goodness they do I will say again, this is only Steam charts, so remember, it's only a subsect of the community. We don't know how many players really exist on console. Uh, what I can tell you for a fact is, they released us a number. They told us 700,000 or something like that uh, players downloaded the game during the first, uh, or rather the final beta, which was the open beta, uh, yeah. where players were allowed to play for two weeks, I think, or a week. Um, and during that, about that many players did get to the game, uh, downloaded and whatnot, played the game and had fun. So if we were to go over that, it's a lot of players. Now, again, I can't tell you, but I can show you is the Steam charts, so you're aware, basically, how the game is doing right now um and you can have an idea of yeah it, probably the console community is also trending downwards based on the information if steam's doing it why is the console trending downwards right today yeah he's probably right uh so <laughs> that's the unspoken truth uh if, if steam has gone down console has definitely gone down as well and on console i would argue uh people have a lot of other games and things to play right now like the new spider-man game and stuff like that so uh yeah Let's hop into it. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe helps out a ton. Let's jump into it and let me show you how the game is doing as of right now. So basically, hop it over here. We have the My Hero Ultra Rumble page, okay? This clearly tells us Oh, that we are down to 847 people on. Oh. At this moment in time, we are playing an hour ago, was 847 people. Oh. As of yesterday, which is crazy to me, it was around 900. That's, that is why you're seeing more bot lobbies. That right there. Guys, we don't need bot lobbies. Come back to the game. 50 right so in that much time and this is a decent time i will be honest here it's a little bit more later in the night as i'm recording this video so obviously that's gonna be lower but the peak in the last you know 24 hours was 1600 currently the game is kind of trending downwards a lot um as of a few weeks ago when we checked this or when i checked this it was around 6000 that was when endeavor released yep it was around like 5000 6000 it's been pretty consistently around 5000 6000 at least since the launch of the game launch of the game was way higher like 50,000, but like it this is the this is a pretty low point for the game uh, which was a much bigger number and then with the launch of the game we're at like fifty thousand. so i'm very curious what happened there you go because that's a lot of players dropped uh the all-time peak yeah it was exactly right here about forty-six thousand uh, five hundred ninety-one on the steam side 
um, and that's where we're currently at. So from this peak, we then got to this 24 hour peak and that's where we're at currently right now. Um, I will be honest with you, we could take a look in this chart. Yeah, so over the rough. last seven days, seven days ago, we were around 1850. We hit a very low point over here being around 959. We then got over here a bit, a bit like better, uh, randomly December 8th, something may have happened. I don't know exactly what happened, but we got 2000 over here. We got a 2000 over here again, hit a little bit more of a low point, 1.2 K over here. Did again, pretty good. I think it just depends on when people have time to play. Honestly, low point did it again, pretty good. Hit a bit of a low point, did again pretty good, <laughs> and it continuously happened, kept hitting that low point, and then there you go. 847 is where we're at now, which if you were to look at the, the one month, it's basically one of the lowest points. You can see a lot of these points were bigger. We're not gonna count these points, clearly. Those are maintenance. Right? Because I'm pretty sure these were maintenance, right? Players can't they play were. the game during maintenance. So let's they not were. let's not be very uh you know problematic. You're being like, oh, technically this is not the lowest ever we've had lower no it was maintenance which you can't play the game at that point but look at this right at the launch of endeavor which again you can take it over here um this tweet was posted uh november 24th which is the launch of again in uh endeavor in november that rhymed um that is here 5.6k players was the peak the peak of endeavor was around there and i'm still shocked that again i do think first off the game does not do great on advertising and like letting people know the game exists the game does terrible on advertising I will also say the game, I think, has a big issue where you get shadow banned too constantly, right? That is why I want to also make this video because uh, I don't know if it's shadow banning or just not having the players to fill the lobbies. Just saying. Recently, I basically stopped playing a few days ago and I haven't played since because I'm so mad. I randomly got shadow banned. I didn't. And people, I asked people like, why? Why I can't I get into a match? I'm just getting bot lobbies now or like one team and then bots. And they said, oh, you must have kept leaving games. And I said, I did no such thing. <laughs> what happened? I'm so lost. Um, and I later found out that it's a, it's a common occurrence. You randomly just get shadow banned and you would have done nothing wrong, like literally. And it's like a point. I, I think the devs had said something about this error as well and like resetting it. But uh, yeah. Point where you get into bot lobby, bot lobby, bot lobby. And there really is no fix other than waiting or I don't know if there is a fix. But for me, I closed app, got back in the game. Same thing happened. And for me, if, if, the, if I'm a standard player, correct, who doesn't really know much about like checking up bugs or whatnot, I would have just quit the game. I'm like, oh, the game's dead probably, right? I can't find a single match because the game's dead and I quit. That's again going to be a common occurrence. And I do think that a lot of players are lost. Yeah, that, that's going to kill the game. I don't know why they implemented a shadow ban thing. Like, I get it if you're trying to ban a cheater, but <laughs> unless I'm getting reported every match that I'm cheating, I don't know what to do. But um, that's, again, a big thing that currently happened. Uh, we'll go to the three months so you can kind of see like the downward. Uh, oh, this don't show me this. Picking up 46,000. Don't show me this, first Sensei. Or first it was 30, then 38, 46. It started to drop, obviously, as players are getting acclimated, not liking the game. Maybe it's a battle royale. It's not for them. Uh, we then hit our pretty low point here, kept on going down to 21K. We then got a little bit of a kind of, you know, push up here, which was pretty nice. Went down again, had a bit of a spike over here on the 20th, which again was the start of, you know, kind of advertising for Aizawa. Then we had a big yeah. more spike per se on October 24th, which was again the launch of Aizawa. Yeah. And then just downwards until basically the launch of November. And you want to know, and you want to know why from here on it went down? They destroyed Aizawa's release. It was terrible. Like, let's not... Uh, there's no other word for it. It was it was terrible. And that alone, when I when the new character is the only content you add to the game and it's bugged, and this is a finished game, this isn't a beta, and the character is massively bugged. Like not not a little bit, massively bugged. Yeah, people are gonna say this this game is terrible, we're leaving. Uh however. We did maintain around 5,000 players of the player base from like all the way across here. Um, up until obviously right now, that stuck around and said, hey, we trust that you're gonna fix the game. And then they did fix the game. But since they fixed the game, there's still no new content, still no cross play. There's just not anything to look forward to. So you're not gonna retain players, right? So yeah. I keep saying November, <laughs> launch of Endeavor. So we didn't really have big spikes here. Uh, maybe here 5.2k to 5.6k uh, or here 3.6 to 4.1 but mainly when the launch of a character gets there they probably players yep. like see that and come back to the game to check them out um and if they don't like the character they move on you can see though like you know Izawa lost 3k and then just went kept going down <laughs> so maybe like one of these <laughs> updates like november 3rd may have been an update fixing something so yeah. players returned uh, or over here players may have returned for an update again uh maybe something was fixed but as you see time has progressed and as we've hit this uh point where uh, endeavor released 
you've seen it, it it's dropped a lot players are now in the uh thousands and today as of right now yep. is in the uh, 800 area which again i will be be abundantly clear here it's not like a terrible number but it is i think that we're going to get lower and lower and lower as the season progresses sadly because the only thing releasing at our mid-season this season is guess what skins and yep yep he's right this is exactly what i was saying here we go in this game players hate skins because guess what you have to gotcha them and gotching them is a lot of a sort of loss because players try fail run away because again the i would be so okay with the gotcha by the way if it was just for skins and not characters just saying earning rate of tickets aren't the fastest in this game so people are like all right let me try boom i just wasted all of my attempts to get a character i didn't get a character or a skin well peace out ggs right so mid-season this season is going to be very treacherous and then i would also say like the best way for them to do this they they got to start like hyping some stuff up right they can start talking about season three theoretically season three technically is basically a month and a half away and we're, yep. we're there right mid-season is only a week or two away and we're there like at a point they can start talking about stuff uh, and sharing stuff so we are aware of what's happening um or like give more of announcements like a little bit of a, a snippet give us an image another thing they could do uh, this just crossed my mind is make ranked play more worth it. Honestly, first season I played ranked, climbed a little bit, and I was like, what is the point in this? I get two subpar skins and a few roll tickets that's not even worth a full multi. Like, yeah, it's they need to make ranked more worth it. Ranked should give like two full multis to people for free, like easily. That makes it worth it. People are going to play your game. They're going to be incentivized by two free multis, right? So if you get to ace rank, you get two free multis, maybe even three, maybe even five. I don't know, man. They could give some free multis out. They could do actual skins that aren't just recolors, and that would make give a lot more incentive to people to at least play ranked and like you'll have more people sticking around for the game, have a reason to grind it. Right now, there's just no reason to grind. The events are subpar. The ranked rewards are subpar. Uh, the gotcha system, like you don't get roll tickets really that often from doing the the events. So you get one roll every two to three weeks, like one multi summon roll. It's just, I don't know. It's too, it's rough. It's rough. Image saying silhouette season three coming soon. Like, like I mean, I, sorry, I know I'm pausing again, but like, I just gotta say, if you want people to play your game, you need to incentivize them to play your game. You need to give them a reason to keep coming back, a reason to grind, a reason to play. If people see that, they're gonna get hyped. So I don't know why they don't do things like that. But again, who am I? Uh, but again, as you see, October uh, 2023, 46,000 players over here in November, 6,000 players. Last 30 days is 5.6 thousand players at our peak. Um, and basically in two weeks, this number will be our peak players being like basically oh. what 3.3k. So it's just going to keep dropping again. Oh. Like when, and I also think the biggest uh, fall off also uh, was the aspect that they didn't release enough characters to start the game off. They released a lot of students, mm. right? But there's players that just kind of want to play this all for one. Yeah. Well, okay. So they released plenty of characters. They didn't release enough villains. That's the, <laughs> that's the problem. They they just didn't release enough villains. They honestly didn't release enough pro heroes either. They should have had a balance of each type. They just and also we only have class like one A besides what is it Vine and Kendo. So we could have had more class one B characters. We could have had Shinzo. We could have had a, a better mixture of characters. Mirio and there's a lot of other big popular characters yep. that weren't dropped at the launch of the game which they could have easily kind of counteracted that um, and had a lot more player, uh, rather characters, players would really want to get, you know, the hang of uh, or use. I definitely think that would have been a better idea, um, but <laughs> that's just like a side point, but we'll see what happens. I don't want to share this with you so you are aware of where the game's at right now, uh, what's happening. Hopefully next season is a big season uh, to give a little bit more hype up and to give us a bit more clarity of what they plan. Like if they do plan a character per season, we'll at least be aware with where our, um, you know, expectations are supposed to be placed. Because right now we're expecting like, hey, Maybe a character, maybe a mode, maybe something cool. Maybe two characters, a mode, something cool, or just nothing. Like, what do we expect per season? Uh, as of right now, I don't even know if there is a season three character, correct? They haven't given us any information. True. Um, the way of them hyping stuff up is through the magazine, which they haven't produced anything. And I am going to say they have uh, talked about, they, they gave us the roadmap back at the beginning of the game. And the roadmap said new game modes season three. Uh, so we know there should potentially at least be a new game mode in season three. Uh, that's all we really know. They haven't told us what type of game modes they, we do have the data files for a new map. I would assume that's going to be in season three. I would also hope this one's more of a hope than a guarantee, uh, that we are going to have, um, cross play in season three. 
that's that's definitely the hope that would definitely bring back the game revive the game help with the bot lobbies or the shadow bands i don't i don't know which it is it might actually be a shadow band but I, it might just be a, a bot lobby like not have enough players on to find a match and stuff like that because i've definitely had that issue as well where i sit in a lobby for like 10 minutes waiting for freaking other teams to join and it's like i i don't know if that's a shadow ban or i i think that is probably not a shadow ban just the not having enough players because you got to remember those 800 players are probably dispersed between now the new duos game mode trios and then trios ranked and then however many else are just sitting on the menu uh not not readying up or however many are just in the the practice range so yeah that's probably why you are not getting servers if you are playing on steam at least i don't know how it is on console couldn't tell you uh, if you know how it is on console let us know down in the comments are you consistently finding games are they quick is it taking a while do you feel like you're being shadow banned you know let us know down in the comments and overall do i think this game is going to die um my answer is no hopeful hopeful i hopeful no uh i hope this game does well and it's really going to depend on season three whether it it thrives or flops right i feel like if they do something massive for season three it's going to bring a lot of players back and what they also need to do is incentivize players to stay and they also need to let's face it change their ui make the game menus more simplified and straightforward and if they do all those things like they've got the character balance now the most of the bugs are fixed right they, they've ironed out the game it no longer feels like a game in beta as much so now they can start working on adding content fixing their menus and incentivizing players to stay i think all those things will help the game thrive hopefully maybe they see either sensei goes uh video or my own or anyone else who talks about this maybe they'll take our ideas you know into account maybe they'll start you know like he said sharing information about season three here soon and we'll have something to look forward to. But yeah, that's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you guys enjoyed the video, please go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.